Now let me just show you the MIDI. Now this is going to be an example of a lead where I just kept the bass within the preset or within the sound. I didn't layer it with a bass layer. So let's go ahead and walk through how we can recreate this sound. So let's go ahead and turn on my sub and I'm going to use the saw wave and lower this negative two octave. And then for oscillator A, I'm going to lower this negative three octave and use digital. Let's do I can has kick and I'll raise up this wave table position raise up the unison to two and lower this detune. So that doesn't sound great. Let's go ahead and just adjust that fine tuning. And let's go ahead and add in the top end by using oscillator B. So for oscillator B, I will do, let's do monster one and raise this up plus seven semitones. But I'm going to go back to oscillator A now and use some FM, so I'll do FM from B and set this to like 53%. So now we can basically hear the sound developing. I want some more attacks, so I'm going to add on a noise and I'll do the attacks kick, let's do attacks kick 29 or kick attack 29, set to one shot. And I wanna add on my filter now so that I can filter off that high end while we're listening to this. So I'm gonna do that with envelope two. And I'll adjust it like this, turn on my filter, assign my envelope two to my filter, my MG low 12, go ahead and hit shift and option and adjust this modulation. Turn on for A, B and also my sub. Hit mono for my voicing. And I'm gonna go to my LFO one and just adjust this a bit. Set my mode to envelope and assign my LFO one to this wavetail position. So we get a bit of like attack at the beginning of that note or a bit more distortion. Now I'm gonna add on my effects. So I'll add on a tube distortion and raise up that drive and lower this mix. And then I'll add on a chorus, lower this delay, adjust this depth, adjust that feedback, raise up that low pass filter and lower this mix. Then I'll add on the hyper dimension, lower the mix on the hyper, adjust the size and mix on, that on this dimension. And then I'm gonna add on some EQ, just to roll off a tiny bit of that low end and also raise up that high end. And then I can go ahead and add on my saturation. So I'm just gonna use the saturator in Ableton, basically your stock saturation plugin. And then of course, gotta add on that kickstart too to sidechain it with the drums and that kick. And here it is with the drums again. 